For decades, Voyager 1 has drifted through the deep void beyond our solar system, quietly transmitting data from the edge of everything we know. A ghost ship launched by human hands and forgotten by most. But recently, a team of researchers ran one of its old image sequences through a cutting-edge quantum artificial intelligence, not expecting much, simply hoping to enhance old data with new technology. What they got instead was not a clearer image, but a discovery. Something was in the picture. Something that wasn't there before. A pattern that couldn't be explained by error or artifact. Something that responded. Something that confirmed what many had feared for decades. That Voyager one may not be alone out there. And what's more unsettling, it may have been noticed. When Voyager 1 crossed into interstellar space in 2012, it marked one of humanity's most historic moments, entering a realm completely untouched by our instruments or understanding. For years, the data seemed routine. Unchanging levels of cosmic radiation, consistent plasma readings, and nothing visually extraordinary. But the new analysis conducted by quantum AI revealed a faint recurring formation embedded across several frames captured between 2012 and 2015. This wasn't a smear, nor a lens flare, nor a digital glitch. It was a symmetrical, grid-like structure, barely perceptible to the naked eye, but unmistakable once the AI connected the patterns and synchronized them across multiple time-stamped images. What stunned the researchers even more was that the structure seemed to maintain a consistent position relative to Voyager's motion, meaning it either moved with the spacecraft or was anchored in space in a way that defied all current understanding of interstellar mechanics. At first, the researchers believed the pattern was just a strange interference effect, a natural quirk of long-range imaging, until they noticed something even more alarming. Whenever Voyager activated its instruments to scan a particular region, the anomaly shifted, not erratically, but rhythmically. The structure appeared to realign itself slightly, subtly, as if reacting to the observation itself. It wasn't just there, it was watching back. The quantum AI picked up correlations between scan frequencies and the reorientation of the formation, detecting micro changes in symmetry that matched Voyager's telemetry signals almost perfectly. The implications were chilling, as this kind of behavior mirrored a well-known principle in quantum mechanics known as the observer effect, where the act of measuring a system alters its state. But Voyager wasn't observing quantum particles. It was scanning vast distances, capturing data across kilometers. The anomaly's response, consistent and repeatable, suggested something else entirely. That either we had stumbled upon a kind of cosmic mirror, or we had triggered something designed to respond. It wasn't long before the anomaly's geometry began to reveal more than just structure. The AI began decoding spatial arrangements between points in the grid, identifying numerical sequences that weren't just curious. They were deliberate. Patterns of prime numbers began to emerge. Ratios resembling Fibonacci spirals and even harmonics that aligned with known physical constants. The deeper the analysis went, the clearer it became that this was not random noise nor a fluke of image compression. These were the same types of mathematical signatures humanity included on Voyager's golden record, our interstellar handshake encoded in sound image, and math. The discovery wasn't just symbolic. It was statistically impossible to occur by chance. If the anomaly was echoing back those same universal patterns, it meant one thing. Somewhere out there, something had not only received our signal, but had structured a reply. And it had done so not in words, but in the language of the cosmos itself. Math. Faced with something that didn't fit into any known physical model, the scientists involved in the project outlined three working theories, 
each more unsettling than the last. The first suggested the anomaly might be a passive relic of an ancient galactic structure, a kind of gravitational mesh embedded in space-time, invisible to us until now. The second posited that the anomaly might be the result of an advanced civilization's long-dormant communication system, a beacon that only responds when triggered by intelligent signals like those from Voyager. But the third theory was the one that silenced the room. It proposed that the anomaly wasn't a structure or a device at all, but a presence, a form of sentient observation so far beyond our understanding that it doesn't even resemble life as we know it. According to this view, Voyager 1 didn't stumble across an artifact. It crossed into a field of awareness, one that has been there long before us, and may have just noticed that we finally looked its way. After the anomaly was identified, the research team began compiling an internal report, one that was never meant to be made public. The tone of the document, according to someone who reviewed a draft, wasn't scientific curiosity. It was unease. What disturbed them most wasn't just the structure or the patterns. It was the silence. In several image sequences analyzed by the quantum AI, there were unexpected voids. Portions where Voyager's instruments should have captured background radiation, cosmic dust, or infrared interference, but instead recorded nothing. Not emptiness, not low signal. Nothing. A perfect absence. These dead zones appeared only in frames where the anomaly was present, suggesting that something about the object or entity was interfering with or perhaps absorbing the surrounding radiation itself. It was as if space had folded in on itself, as if there was something there, not just beyond visibility, but beyond interaction. These voids were, in every practical sense, unmeasurable, and that alone terrified the analysts more than any pattern ever could. The team didn't stop at Voyager 1. They began reviewing archival data from other missions, Hubble, Spitzer, even radio observations from Earth-based telescopes. And what they found was even more disturbing. Faint echoes of the same geometric pattern, though weaker and more dispersed, appeared in data sets from completely different regions of the sky. Some were buried in noise. Others were dismissed decades ago as anomalies or calibration errors. But when processed using the same quantum AI filters, the pattern re-emerged, weaker, fragmented, but unmistakably connected. This suggested that the phenomenon wasn't limited to the region Voyager 1 was passing through. It was broader, spread out, possibly a lattice across interstellar space, a cosmic infrastructure not made of matter but of pattern, of presence. This was no longer about a single encounter. This was about a structure or awareness woven into the fabric of the galaxy itself. Something that's been there all along, unseen until we learned how to listen. As the data accumulated, a new question emerged, one that divided the team. Was the anomaly a form of sentient intelligence, something capable of awareness and intent, or was it something older? more primal, perhaps a kind of living code. One theory suggests that this is not an artificial construction in the traditional sense, but rather a self-replicating algorithm of space-time, something that exists not within the universe, but as part of its operating system, a built-in observer, an ancient mechanism that activates only when a signal matches a certain threshold, like the prime sequences from Voyager's golden record. Under this view, the anomaly isn't intelligent in the way we are, but it responds, it adjusts, it recognizes structure and returns structure. It echoes our presence back to us, as if to say, you are seen. And if that's true, then Voyager 1 didn't find life. It found a mirror, not of our biology, but of our intent, of our curiosity, of our urge to reach outward. As word of the anomaly spread quietly through academic channels, 
a troubling debate began to take shape. Some argued that the data should be published, peer-reviewed, and made public in the spirit of scientific transparency. Others insisted that revealing this now, especially under the context of such a high degree of uncertainty, could spark misinformation, panic, or worse, be dismissed entirely as pseudoscience. A few even questioned whether humanity was ready for this kind of revelation at all. Because if the anomaly is real, and if it truly is a form of communication, of recognition, then the implications go beyond physics or astronomy. They touch on something older, something spiritual, philosophical, the very fabric of what we believe we are. If something noticed Voyager, it means the universe is not a void. It is not silent. It is not empty. It is a stage. And someone or something has just opened the curtain and turned toward the audience. For decades, Voyager 1 drifted quietly through space, a silent witness to the vastness beyond, a messenger carrying our hopes in a golden record etched with dreams, numbers, and greetings. We sent it out to say we exist, to whatever might be listening. And now, after all these years, something may have listened. This anomaly, this impossible pattern hidden in the deep fabric of space, isn't just a curiosity or a glitch. It's a reply, not in words, not in light, but in something far more universal, recognition. Whether it's intelligence as we understand it or something older, something coded into the bones of the cosmos itself, we don't know. But what's certain is this. Voyager didn't just cross into interstellar space. It crossed into awareness. And that changes everything, because if something responded to us, then we are not alone. And maybe we never were. Now the question isn't if we're being watched. It's why. And perhaps more importantly, what happens next? So tell us in the com. Comments? Do you believe Voyager made contact? Was this just cosmic coincidence? Or the first quiet step into a much larger conversation? And if this story made you pause, made you feel something deep in your chest, or just made you look at the stars a little differently tonight, subscribe and turn on the bell. Because Voyager 1 may be alone out there, but you won't be alone here.